Hello and welcome back and to those who are first time viewers, welcome. I haven't made a video in quite some time and there, part of the reason is three months ago I had a triple bypass. Went in for a uh, health check and ended up in the hospital and here we are three months later still with a bit of a hoarse voice <clears throat> and a cough which are left over from the surgery I guess but uh, we're on the mend at any rate I bought a digital contact non-contact combination tachometer my old metal canned as large as a brick and as heavy as one had died some time back and I had an application where I needed a non-contact tachometer and I bought this and I'm hoping to save somebody the grief of doing the same these can range in price for uh, the cheap ones in the twenty dollar range all the way up into many many hundreds of dollars for those that are certified you know dead accurate traceable back to bureau standards yada yada I didn't need anything that good and I didn't want a twenty dollar cheap piece of junk so I spent a hundred and something dollars in this in fact let me find out exactly what it was okay this was a hundred and seventeen ninety nine on Amazon and I figured for that price I'd get something halfway decent and boy was I wrong as far as I'm concerned this is a Reed Instruments R7100 and as far as I'm concerned this isn't worth 20 bucks if I would paid 20 bucks for it I wouldn't be making this video however I'm trying to save somebody the grief of spending $117 on one of these at first glance it didn't look all that bad took it out of the box and I needed it for non-contact use now for non-contact you merely pop the end of this thing off and shine this end of it at whatever you want to use whatever you want it's not even coming on now that's amazing oh there we go RM there we go it sends out a little laser beam you point at what you want to measure on a reflected you know you put some reflective tape it comes with the, with the reflective tape but when I pulled this off this little thing you see right here taped to the front fell out of this this is the little I don't know if you want to call it interrupter wheel tone wheel whatever what have you that interrupts the LED we'll bring some light over here that is supposed to be used with the LED or the photodiode on the side for contact type RPM tests came off the tone wheel right here it was broken off out of the box now if I'd paid $20 for this I would have glued that back on and that would have been the end of it I paid hundred dollars for this and it was broken in the box but that's not the worst of it watch this thing can you see the run out it doesn't even turn straight it's not concentric on the shaft it's a plastic thing with a Phillips screw stuck through the middle of it and it does this when it turns a hundred dollars now I would expect that for 20 bucks for hundred and seventeen dollars no this is going back to Amazon I'm gonna shove it up someone's butt it's a piece of shit I cannot believe they're charging I'll guarantee they're getting this out of China for 20 bucks marking it up to hundred and seventeen dollars so there you have it save yourself the grief and aggravation real short video I'm just hoping to save somebody some trouble of buying one of these this is going back to Amazon tonight or I'm gonna get the shipping label to send it back tonight had it just been broken I would have said okay send me another one but when I saw that run out I, I just the build quality is crap 
For $117, no. For $20, yeah, I would have kept it. For $117, they can eat this thing. That's it. See you later. Bye.